Hey everyone, uh, for video number two, I'm going to show you how to set your paper up for MLA formatting starting from scratch. Okay, um, up here at the very top of your page, it's called your header. You want to double click on your header and then um, usually it will automatically go to design. You can go to design or you can go to insert, whichever one you want, because um, they both have page number, a button that says page number. So you'll click on page number and it'll ask you the option of where to put it. So you, you select the top of page and then you go to page number three, I mean plane number three, which aligns it to the far right. So there you have your page numbers and then you, you hit spacebar and your last name. I'm gonna imagine my last name is Goodall. Um, space, good all space. So now every time each each page I go to my paper, once I write page number two, it's going to say good all two. I, go, I type all the way to page three, it'll say good all three. So here I am. Um, before I start typing my name or anything else after after my page number, I'm going to go to paragraph. Paragraph is under home, your home button paragraph there's a little there's a little box right here you push okay now you notice look the spacing this needs to be adjusted for mla formatting before needs to be at zero and after needs to be at zero before and after meaning this means that look uh after i hit enter on my computer on my, on my um, keyboard and go to a new paragraph, it's not going to give me an additional um, eight point font space in between it. It's just going to be uh, because I'm already doing line spacing from single to double. So double line spacing and therefore this right here is extra. This is extra over here. All right. It's like when you fill out your um, W-2s and it's like you're already going to be taking taxes out, federal and state. And then this is like when they want to ask if you want to take any additional taxes out. All right. We don't want any additional line spacing before or after lines. So make sure those are at zero, 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 line spacing double. Okay. So now you do your first name and your last name. All right. I'm going to say I am Marcy Goodall. Okay. And then you put your, your, uh, teacher's name. Um, you can put Mr. Byers, all right, um, or you can put instructor Byers. If uh, I'm not a technically a professor, uh, I don't have a doctorate, but if you uh, have a instructor who is a professor, you put professor, his or her last name, doctor, his or her last name. All right, you put the, the class. Um, English 1101. If you are writing a paper for a class that meets on a specific night, you would want in a time, you would want to put English 1101 um, Tuesday, Thursday, 1130. Or um, social studies, our American gov government, Monday, Wednesdays, 930. So that way the professor or the instructor knows which class you're in. But because all my classes are online and you're all of the all of my three classes are just combined into one big class, you can just put 1101 because I don't have anybody else in those classes except for you people. And then the date comes. I usually put the due date. So let's see. Uh, the next due date for an essay, I think, is October. Let me look at my calendar. October 13th. So we'll put, you put October 13, 2019. Enter. Now I'm on the very next line. I'm going to go up here to where it says align, align center. I want to click it and say, um, Comparing and contrasting. 
comparing and contrasting. Um, let's say topical. The Nixon, Clinton, and Trump impeachments. Okay, let's say I'm, I'm writing a paper on that. There's my title. Okay, I have capital letters on for the for the big ones. I guess this is telling me these should not be capitalized. There you go. All right, I'm gonna hit enter once, just one time, not multiple, one time. I'm gonna go back up here to my uh, alignments, hit align left. I'm gonna hit tab once. And now I am ready to begin my, oops, my essay, okay? I will type out my introduction and my body paragraphs and, oops, and everything else. All right, and from this point on, everything everything's cool. Everything's good. My formatting is great. When I when I highlight it all, I go to paragraph. It's double zero zero. Good good good. When I get done with the paragraph, I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna hit tab again, and we are all good and all kosher. Okay, so that's how you set up your papers. Now I'm gonna go through the next couple of videos to show you things I've noticed that people should have caught. Um, after they type their essay before submitting it. So here we go.